Good day, sir. I am Roxanne Gay Kagod, a second year nursing student at the University of Southern Mindanao. So today, I'm going to perform to you male catheterization. So in the first procedure, we need to check physician's order. Of course, this for the confirmation. And then we're going to uh, check for the completeness of the supply. And next is we're going to assess whether the patient is allergic to iodine or plaster. Next is we're going to wash our hand and assemble all the equipment. So considering that I already washed my hand and these are the equipments needed for the procedure. And next is we need to identify and explain the procedure to the patient. So, good day, sir. May I know your name? Okay, Mr. Bagpat. Sir, I'm going to perform catheterization sa iyo. Okay lang po ba? Okay, sir. Uh, sir, in the previous uh, experience po ba, nakatry po ba kayo ng reaction sa skin nyo or ano, about sa plaster or sa betadine? Uh, wala po. Okay po, sir. Thank you po. And then, we're going to provide privacy to the patient. This is to provide comfort and assurance. Next is, we're going to position the patient in a supine position with the knees slightly apart and we're going to drape by back, drape the patient and we're going to do the the or we're going to place the under pad under the bottom. So, considering that I already placed it Next is, we're going to do perineal flushing since we already done that, we already done that procedure before, assuming that I already done perineal flushing to the patient. Next is, we're going to prepare for the pack aseptically and place it on the sterile field. We have here the pack. And of course, when removing the catheter and its wrapper or in its uh, cellophane or wrap, we need to check, of course, the expiration date. This to validate the use of the catheter. So we're going to place it in the sterile field. So assuming that I open wide this catheter widely. And we're going to describe this. Next is we're going to bring the we have there here the sterile kidney basin for the near working area. So assuming that this is here, this for the cotton balls later. And next is we're going to put a small amount of lubricant over the sterile field. So we have here the sterile field, so we're going to put a lubricant. Next is we're going to get the two cotton balls and place it on a sterile field. So we have here the the jar for a sterile jar for a cotton ball. Next is we're going to do laving. So since this glove is in, is already sterile in the sterile field, so we can open.
So, I already done blabbing. So, assuming... I, but before that, we need to dispose this. And after that, we're going to place the sterile drape over the pennies and onto the perineum without the touching the upper top surface. So we have, assuming that I already done draping the patient. Next is we're going to lubricate the catheter around 3 to 4 inches. So, since we are using polycatheter, we need to attach already the urine. So, 3 to 4 inches. Assuming that 3 to 4 inches is that. And then with our non-dominant hand, we left the pennies and cleanse the glands on circular motion moving outward from the miatus with the use of cotton ball with betadine. So, assuming that I'm using a sterile forcep, since we are lack of equipment, so we're going to hold the pennies upward. And we're going to clean the miatus in a circular motion. Then discard. Then discard. So Next is, we're going to, with our hand, still holding the, the shaft of the pennies, we're going to insert or pick the catheter with our dominant hand and below the tip of 3 to 4 inches, we're going to insert they cut it there. So, we're going to ask the patient to uh, take a deep breath before inserting. So, sir, pwede po ba hingang malalim tayo? So, sir, we're going to insert. So, we're going to Insert it with rotating motion about 7 to 9 inches until the urine flow. So, assuming that there's already a urine flow, if there's a resistant felt, we, we are going to withdraw a, let, a little catheter and ask the patient to, again, to take a deep breath and again, if the... And... We're going to notify the physician about the procedure. Next, we're going to gently push the catheter 1 to 2 inches more after urine starts flow. So, assuming that this, of course, already a urine flow, we're going to collect the specimen if required. Then, remove the catheter slowly since we, if we are going, we are using straight catheter. Since we are using poly catheter, we're going to inject uh, content of pre-filled syringe with 5 cc water to secure the catheter inside the penis of the patient. withdraw and discard and after that we're going to gently pull the catheter 
until we fill the retention balloon is snuggles against the bladder neck. So, it's already secure. Then, we're going to attach the uri the we're going to remove the drape and we're going to tape the the catheter at the lower abdomen or anterior thigh. And then, we're going to place the urinary bag below the level of the bladder. So, first, the excess tubing on the mattress and secures the bed frame. So, after that, we're going to wipe the excess. And, we are going to remove the equipment and make the patient comfortable. So, going to remove all the equipment. Then, label the urine specimen and send to the laboratory. If the laboratory promptly. So, um, so, after that, we're going to remove our gloves. And then, wash our hands. So, assuming that I already wash my hands. So, next is we're going to document the time of removal of inserting catheter and then of course the uh, the procedure that you've done or you see something or observa observation you have seen in the procedure and that would be all and thank you.